I texted the valet so my car will be ready ASAP and this is so handy I love that the twin fin does this because I can honestly just take my time getting ready and then once it's ready it will be downstairs and it'll notify me once it's downstairs <laughs> back at one of my favorite places to work out whenever I'm on Oahu and it is at Burn Collective. I'm taking the first class today. I always like to take the earlier classes because I don't know I'm just an early riser and also I feel like you know none of the materials or like the mats and the little dumbbells have been touched yet and there's nothing wrong with that but I just like want to be the first one you know. So I'm super excited. Um, this time I bought my own towel. The last time I didn't have any and I literally just had my sweat going down in my face. Here's the fit. Lululemon shorts. <laughs> My pockets just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that going. Then she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Oh my gosh. Yes, I am dead. Okay, guys, I just finished my class at Burn Collective. Always a pleasure there, but I'm always like out of breath right after. Don't get me wrong, it was a great workout and I'm literally drenched. <sighs> I feel like I have to like catch my breath. But it was a nice workout. It is a new instructor that I took. I think she's also new. I think this is her second class. Ow. And she did good and she did pretty well. Tomorrow I come back, but it's going to be a little earlier. It's going to be at 6.15 a.m. I took the 7.15 today. And it is just as, just as a killer workout. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to go back and then shower and then see where the day takes us. Oh my god, like my back is literally drenched, guys. Like, ew. Ugh. Ah. To go like this. I'm literally out of words. Out of words. Okay, you guys, I just finished taking a shower. I didn't end up washing my hair because I am going to go to the beach after an event that I'm attending. And I wanted to show you guys a 
really quick get ready with me first i went ahead and put on spf um because it's very important and then moving on i'm gonna go in with my elf halo glow filter and just apply this all over my face this is my favorite like little foundation right now also if i keep looking to the side like that's the only mirror i have so don't mind me and i only really put it like in this area here like below my eyes and then whatever product i have left over i will blend it to my forehead i don't really like having too much makeup on my forehead i feel like this is almost a skin tint like the consistency of it and the finish it's very skin like i'm gonna go in with my nars soft matte concealer i'm gonna take one of these little like puffy brush not puffy but it's like do you see how it's like a little foamy then i'm gonna take the concealer and apply it on my blemishes and this just covers everything i'm gonna go ahead and take my sweet honey translucent powder i usually use the pink one under my eye but this time i don't really have time i'm not really baking i'm honestly just applying it under and then patting it do you see how smooth this side looks compared to this one so i'm working my under eye first and then also my smile lines because that's where it usually tends to have a little bit of crackness throughout the day oh my gosh i forgot my liquid blush okay there's no liquid blush today because i already put my powder i'm gonna go in with this tarte palette and i'm going to blend these four right here as my blush i typically go for liquid blush but i completely forgot <laughs> and i've been using the elf halo glow so maybe i'll do like a little tutorial later but in the meantime this little powder one will work i also really love this palette and i just like to honestly play around and then put it in a little w like this and then whatever leftover i have just bring it on my lid the great thing about having eyelash extensions is like i don't have to worry about curling my lashes, doing my mascara, doing an eyeliner because it does it for me and that's why I love getting it. Brows did, I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal them so they don't move with the Benefit Brow Setter. This is probably by far my favorite brow sweater ever. Why is it that when I literally do my eyebrows for five seconds, it looks the absolute best, but then when I have like hours and hours to do it, it looks like shit. I'm gonna go in with a bronzer just to bring back warmth. I'm taking this butter bronzer and I'm just putting it on my forehead. And here, I'm not doing any sharp contouring. I'm honestly just buffing this all over the face to bring back warmth. I'm gonna take my highlighter from Rare Beauty, put this on the inner corner of my eye here tip of my nose put it right here do a little c-shape C -shape. and then for lips do whatever works for you i just like the rare beauty lip oil because it's a lip stain and just apply that i only really do it in the bottom last but not least go in with the charlotte tilbury setting spray All right, so this is my outfit. For sandals, I'm gonna go ahead and switch into these. Hello guys, I am at Coconut Club, which is the restaurant on the 21st floor of the Twin Fin at Waikiki. I got myself some omelet and then pause. It's not super sunny, but it's still like great weather. but I'm 
I'm gonna shoot some content and I'm gonna be taking them on my Canon G7i. Alright guys, I'm back in my suite and I'm literally sitting at the edge of my bed right now because I don't want to sit on my bed. I have something about sitting with outside clothes on beds that are just like not good for me, but um, I don't really want to sit on the couch either. So we're gonna have to like work through this and just sit at the edge. I am working on a couple of emails before I head out to the beach. I shot a lot of content when I went to the coconut club, which is on the 21st floor. I also met the manager. She was so nice. I'm just working on a couple of emails and then I have to send in or I have to post my first batch of stories on my Instagram. I'm gonna be working here for a little bit maybe i'll give myself like an hour or two and then i will head to the beach shoot some more content i just finished um working i did a couple of emails and then i posted something for the hotel on my stories what is going on okay i figured it out it was my sliding door which is weird because I went outside, there are no sirens, but whenever I close it all the way, it starts making that sound. I don't know if it's because it's windy outside that it's like something is happening, but I'm just gonna have to keep the door slightly open. So if you guys hear the waves, that is why. But I wanted to show you guys my beach essentials. First one is my Aloha collection bag. I love taking this with me to the beach because it's waterproof sandproof and it has a really cute pattern and you can also fit so much in here also it is reversible it's not sponsored video but i've had this for maybe a year and a half now and this is my main bag and i can fit my towel poncho which is also another item that i like to bring with me this is something that i throw on right after i go in the water swim whatsoever or if i need to change out into another bikini this is my best friend see it does that sound i don't but there's no siren outside i have three of these pouches these two are the same size just in two different patterns and one of them i have all of my electronics because i shoot content um, by content, I mean pictures and videos or reels and whatnot. So I have them in one of these bags. And then on the other bag, I have my bikinis. And the great thing about this is that once I shoot all the other bikinis, or if I shoot one or two bikinis, I can just take everything out and then put the wet bikini in these little pouches, and they're good to go. Like I said, these are waterproof, so they're super, super awesome for beach days. And in the smaller one, I have more of my essentials, important stuff. Like I have my wallet here, my cash, um, my little hair tie, and then eyelash brush, AirPods, lip balm, sunscreen, etc. I have everything in here, and it's just a smaller one. So if I just want to go outside and run a couple errands, I can just easily take this and have it as my little bag. I also like to bring baby oil and i like to put this especially when i have to shoot content for brands and i want to look a little extra glowy i feel like i'm pretty glowy right now like i haven't put it on but sometimes i really want that extra glow <laughs> this is what i put and it's really nice then i have my cover-up which i'll be wearing when we leave and then i have my pareo or my sarong which is something that i use to either cover up my bottom i can make it into a little dress and i also use this to lay out at the beach and i like that it's super thin before i forget um i also bring my own tripod because i do shoot my pictures most of the time and this has traveled with me anywhere i've gone and as you can see she's a little rusty because she's been in the water but i love it and i will not replace her until i have to and you can also bring a book or a journal but i'm not bringing those because i already got my reading and my journal done today and i'm mostly going to be taking pictures and content today so yeah let's go to the beach and we'll see where the day takes us this is the whole outfit. This overall is from Free People and it is my absolute favorite. I have like four or five of them and I just love them. And for someone who's as short as 5'1 and 5'2 on a good day, it's like the perfect length. My bikini is from Shein. It's so cute. I have this in other colors. I'm wearing my favorite slippers of all time. They're from Reef and that's about it. Oh.